Hi, and welcome to your craft box on Far From the Tree. Rather than do a craft box episode on the Sunday Times this week or on some of the great pieces of literature in the canon like 1984, I decided to step out of my normal routine and review this book by Robin, Robin Benway. Won the National Book Award, I believe last year in 2017, and I have to say the writing in it really impressed me. So I'm going to be talking about some of the craft moves she makes here in this video. So let's start with the basics of the plot. One of the biggest things that sets the story in motion is that Grace, who is finishing up her junior year of high school, has realized that she's pregnant. And when she realizes that she's pregnant, it's very late in the game. She says here, by the time Grace realized what had happened, she was in the fifth day of her second trimester. The baby was the size of a peach. Grace looked it up on Google. So this is actually already a very impressive uh, writer's move in that it is the kind of thing that a junior in high school of this generation would probably do um, is, you know, look it up on Google and then really be drawn to something like the size in comparison to a fruit. But really, this is just kind of a standard craft move in my mind, really getting into the head of a character. Um, the next thing that impresses me is what she does directly after. On the next page, she says, After that day, Grace knew that she wasn't going to keep Peach, capital letter intended. So we've gone from lowercase peach, the fruit that the baby's being compared to, to capital peach for a proper noun. So this shows me that she really has started to kind of think of the baby by this name, um, and it just sort of happens seamlessly. It's not even really explained. She goes on to, she just keeps referring to it that way. She goes on at the bottom of the sentence here to say, Peach would need grace in ways that she couldn't give to her. So <clears throat> I really love this move where we take a typical kind of thought that might happen to a 16-year-old, you know, 17-year-old, and then we then run with it so that that influences what things are called in the story. I think that's a really clever craft move. And then finally, I really think that Robert B Robin Benway is particularly crafty at the way that she describes emotion with a physicality. I'm regularly talking to my students when they're writing narrative that, or even when they're, they're doing, uh, describing personal anecdotes in nonfiction text, that they often, when they describe emotion, you, you get things like the heart, uh, beats fast, that um, she was like an alarm going off. These things are, are very um, common, and people are not really sure how to describe emotion outside of the most common ways. Robert, Robin Benway does an amazing job with this here. So here she's describing how once the, um, Grace leaves school to have the baby, um, her friends respond in this way. Her cross-country teammates had tried to keep her updated at first, talking about meets and gossiping about other teams. But Grace couldn't handle the way her jealousy pushed against her skin until it felt like she would explode. Even nodding silently became difficult after a while. And when she stopped responding, they stopped talking. So the idea of jealousy being something that can push up against your skin until it like something trying to escape something um, is a real fresh way to sort of describe jealousy um, and then the way that she follows it up with just a bare bones description of what people saw on the outside compared to what Grace was feeling on the inside her nodding silently and not responding and then the way they respond back to her eventually stop talking so these are just a handful of the really great craft moves that I saw in this book I definitely think that the first 10, 15 pages was extremely well crafted, um, that there were many moves like this that I found refreshing and surprising. As the story progresses um, in some of the final chapters, I won't give it away, but it does become a bit 
more mainstream in the way that it describes emotion, describes people's emotional responses, but man, is this opening couple of chapters extremely well crafted. Thanks for tuning in to this week's Craft Box. Feel free to subscribe or like or dislike or comment. Is anybody out there? Somebody do something. Thanks.